This video describes the basic screen layout for Focus on Beatbot Lesson Activities 1 and 2. The navigation panel is a set of clickable buttons, very similar to those found on the actual Beatbot itself. Click the buttons to input moves, and then once you've completed the moves, click Go. Return Beatbot to the home square by clicking the home button. The activity mat animation in the centre of the screen can be rotated using the mouse and it is possible to zoom in and zoom out using the zoom buttons or the scroll wheel on the mouse. Each Beatbot program comes with eight activity mats. Load the Beatbot mats by clicking the index on the right hand side of the screen. The index pictures can be hidden to make navigation easier. Simply click on the words to load the activity mats. Both students and teachers can add activity mats to the program. How to do this is explained in another video. Each of the mats comes with a set of activities. Click the blue button to begin each activity. The task information has been pre-recorded to make the program accessible to inexperienced and non-readers. Beebot needs fruit and vegetables from the grocers and to go to school. To complete the activity, the user must input a series of moves into the navigation panel. This can be done in one go by clicking a series of buttons or it can be shown step by step. This makes it easier for younger children. Once the sequence of moves has been input, click the Go button. If the sequence is correct, a Well Done sign will come up on the screen and the score is recorded at the top of the screen. Well done! That's the right answer! If evidence is needed to show that the task has been completed, click the print button. This will show the mat, the information to go with the activity and the sequence of moves. This sequence can then be input into the actual beatbot itself and tested on the mat. Users can save all of this information by clicking the save button.